<laughs> oh, that's not a bad idea. Someone's suggesting that Dee Dee and Beth have phone sex. No. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, would you do it? I, I'm not a lesbian, though. Oh. Would you talk dirty to Liddy? <laughs> Liddy. Liddy. Do you have Liddy today, Jimmy? There's always around. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't see her today. Liddy? Yeah. I, thought, I don't want to talk about it. No. By the way. Is that what you call it? What a, what a, what a of course. Call it. <laughs> you call it Liddy? Not... No, 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 not that. Oh, I think oh, no. he's talking about his penis. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> No. no. What no. is Liddy? I call this the apology hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pat, we don't have anything for you today, so That's thanks right. for coming. It's here's Camo Toe. This, this thing. Uh, oh, man. Oh, I couldn't man. think of the word elixir. <laughs> <laughs> How about elixir? No, no, no. Oh, oh Liddy. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> that's that mouth, Liddy. <laughs> Okay. He's a real chatter lid. <laughs> <laughs> he's grinding his teeth at you. That means he's angry. Because <laughs> uh, he's right, a sick man, to, but Patty? it was never the case of leopards running around my children. Yeah, yeah. That's where she drew the line. That's where she <laughs> stood up. Terrific. Hey, not That's around terrific. my kids. Okay, put the chain back around my neck. Yes, if you want to blow it, I'll stay here with you. She, uh, she's been there for years, too. Years. Yeah, years. Like this is, he just chained years. her. He just last week chained her around the yeah. neck and threw her down there and beat her up. Years had kids. Yeah. Ah, chained. Well, we got Chad in New Jersey. He thinks what uh, he knows what the wedding song was. All Go right. ahead, Chad. Yeah, what's up, boys? Hey, I heard that the wedding song was the Unchained Melody. Punching out. All right. <laughs> kind of, kind of funny. Yeah. yeah. All right. Or maybe it was a uh, hey, break these chains. <laughs> Thanks, Liddy. Oh, that's funny, Liddy. <laughs> <laughs> he actually had a line that time, though. Exactly. What's wrong with that? Yeah. But he's on fire. <laughs> he on. <laughs> he's on fire. <laughs> Liddy. Uh, oh, now someone's suggesting cat scratch fever. I hate Liddy. <laughs> Who's that? I don't know, but I don't like Who's it. Who's that? Ooh. What is that? Hey, you're ripping me off. <laughs> 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 what the? They're having lid wars. Oh, he's got his own little lid. I hate Liddy. Oh, I'm the anti Liddy. I have a goatee. <laughs> oh, oh, you're worse at ventriloquism than uh, yeah. Otto and George. <laughs> as, 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 <laughs> a, ver a, a worse what? As, as, Tom, as Tom. it worse at ventriloquism. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it was <laughs> ventriloquism is a hard word. You know, when I came into yogurt, the lids were doing nothing. <laughs> but Maya Menino is a hard word. <laughs> look at now that Liddy's got some competition. He's on fire. <laughs> Yeah, now look, he's got the line. Yeah, Shut up, fuck face. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's almost sociopathic. <laughs> uh oh. The lids are fighting. It's hilarious. You guys get. This is what you do for Where's a living. Where's my lid? <laughs> this is what you do for a living. I have take... foily. <laughs> foily. I'll just sit here and go, oh, shit. Yeah. All you do is mess up plans. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Excuse me, can I point something out? Why are you trying not to move your lips on radio? I know. <laughs> he really thinks he's a talent scout in the other room. Look at <laughs> that kid in the fucking foil. Sign him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, such an ass. I had to find something to use as a puppet. Yeah, I gotta use foil. Like, I had to find foil. Like, I couldn't say I have a lid, too. Yeah, well, I would have fucking ratted you out in a second. He doesn't have any lids. Just flushy hands. I, uh, I grabbed be. toilet paper like I was supposed to be involved. <laughs> <laughs> Talk through the tube or something. I'm Rolo, man. <laughs> there we are. Is this a bad Adam Sandler bit or what? <laughs> You guys do this for a living. It's hilarious. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Oh, I think I broke my fruit on the bottom, man. <laughs> Most shows is guys preparing the day before. Oh, I know. You guys just take yogurt and fold up the lids. Dude, oh, I got right. Anthony and I are out of here at 11.02, man. Oh, <laughs> we've been planning was, for the next we've day. We've been calling it in for, <laughs> I guess, the whole time we've been here. Big Duty's Jay from Jersey <laughs> wants to know if Opie's evil Liddy has a goatee like Spock did. That's what I said. He said goatee. Yeah. Oh, we did? Mm. I wasn't listening. I was trying to... Craft my <laughs> out of foil. Deep throat got a five second mention. Yeah, they found the guy. We don't even say his name. Liddy is getting a twenty minute fucking. Thing. We really are idiots. Is it true that some high school kid found out who this the deep throat guy was? Um, I don't know. He was, was the first um, one to tell everyone who deep throat was. I believe. A and then the guy kid, had to come out. One of the children, either his or um, Woodward's kid, All right, was I in camp. And told somebody else. What was Deep but Throat? He's was... always been a suspect. Of oh, being he a... has been. Yeah, and over the years, it? his name has come up, but he denied it. 
Yeah, and now he's uh, he's saying that. Yeah, it was me. Mark Felt. W. Mark Felt. Did the Ooh. reporters confirm it, though, the two guys? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Woodward, Woodward said, and... Uh, yep. Woodward and Bernstein. Bernstein. Said, Wait, yep, he, that's the guy. Wow. He was the number two official at the FBI in the 70s. Number two man. Uh, he was a Nazi hunter after the war, and he used a lot of the spy techniques that he... Um, he learned during doing that to uh, get in touch with uh, uh, Woodward and um, plant those little signals like the plant around in his porch and the yeah no more parties. I mean, we got really bad ones today. Jennifer Tilly was on the phone. I got nervous. Is yeah, that what it was? I, just, I wanted to yell yay and it just creeped out. What did you eat? What are you eating that it makes? I don't know what he what, smells yeah. like that. Exactly. Um, what are you eating? I had uh, uh, some yogurt this morning and. Um, too m- yeah. Oh, Liddy. Uh, Liddy, much- what type of yogurt were you on top of today? I don't know. I had a flavor to it. <laughs> <laughs> He's the worst. Nothing. The worst new character ever. <laughs> His fart actually battles the Lysol. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. In Colorado. Hey, boys, I just got one question. Uh, hey, Bobby, who won the football game? <laughs> <laughs> That's the important thing. You know, I actually, I'll tell you right now, that, that catch, if that Dominican got that catch... They would have got another play. But not only did I block the ball from him catching oh. it, I also snapped my knee to end the game. So we did win. That pretty much ended the game? Yeah, that was my whole yeah. plan. <laughs> really? Good I'm going to snap my knee so the game ends and we win out of four so, Go ahead. I see the old Daryl Stingley play. Ah, I should have just said uh, <laughs> <laughs> At least you said it with a mouthful of tuna. You bet I did. What was that, Liddy? <laughs> ah, you know, the guy fell. <laughs> <laughs> Thing. <laughs> oh God, that's the worst. What the fuck was that little thing you had in your hand? A puppet? That's no, Liddy. that's Liddy. That's, that's Liddy, man. That's, that's G Yogurt Liddy. Yeah. <laughs> that's a new character on the show. New character, but he really his character. improv skills are a little they're, lacking. They're not bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice knee. <laughs> Get that. One of the guys. Bob, oh, Bob, Bob, why don't you just she looks go like home. Steven Tyler. Yeah, Bob, you got that. She really does. Like Bob, President why don't you, Tyler. If you can't handle this, why don't you just go home? Yeah, what? Can't handle what? Maybe he's gay. A, a you only want to Maybe he's gay. Yeah, he's gay. <laughs> maybe he's gay. <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you, you can handle the hot chicks, but you can't show. handle this. I don't, yeah, Bob, you know. it's about, there's no I in team, went, pal. And you, you want to be friends. I mean, uh, wait a minute. You know. We're not friends. I thought we already established All right, this. but you know what? If you can't handle this, why don't you just limp home? Please? All right, wow. I'll go home. It's yeah. like Liddy always says. You know, the truth is hard for you. <laughs> oh, Liddy. Liddy's back. Oh, yeah. Okay. I love Bob. I love you. you Liddy. No, I had a wet dream about Bob after, after that time. Who was involved with that breaking? Uh, the, the plumbers. They called the plumbers to plug up the leaks. And uh, uh, Liddy. Oh, I had nothing to do with this. Oh, oh Liddy. No. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. It's Liddy. <laughs> yogurt Liddy. There, there are posts about Liddy on Wack. <laughs> Liddy, what do you think of uh, of uh, Deep Throat revealing himself? Oh, you know. <laughs> you know. Well, that's all you get out of Liddy. That's all you ever get out of Liddy. <laughs> well, it looks like he doesn't have much of a brain, so I, I don't expect much from Liddy's the, throat is pretty shallow. Isn't that a good uh, little comparison? There's Deep Throat. But Liddy, yeah, you can't really. He doesn't really have a throat, Liddy. How do you? How do you eat? Yeah, I know it's not. You know, a lot of tough things. <laughs> <laughs> well, Liddy, you stink. <laughs> Liddy can be the worst character on our show. He's it's, a great character. It's awful. Wait, wait, wait. FDR. <laughs> <laughs> Liddy's the worst. <laughs> All right, we got something happening, and you're telling yourself, no, Teresa, no, what's go wrong? Back. Go, 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 go back. Exactly. Yeah. So at that point, I'm going, I don't want to wake up yet. Go, mm-hmm. Stop this. I remember one time I had I had this dream. Oh, actually, one time I had it <clears throat> where uh, a friend of mine was sick, and um, he comes to me in the middle of the night, and I'm laying in bed, and he comes up, and he goes, uh, hey, man, I just came. I wanted to say goodbye. And I'm like, why do you want to say goodbye? And he's like, you know, because... Be more funny, you fucking asshole. <laughs> You're wasting my time. That's not... That's mean, though. Liddy's never mean. This is the, uh... The mean Liddy. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. People, uh... We, we've gotten Fuck some face. of... Some of the whack bag, um... <laughs> submissions. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I know we're in a war, and this is an evil man, but... 
you know, just looking at the human side of this, you know, he, he's just like everybody else. <laughs> like, ah, Jesse Jackson, shut <laughs> up. Just starts laughing openly. Who won the election? Yeah, Jesse Jackson. Jesse there's Jackson. Some, ah, ah, stop <laughs> it. I'd sooner be elected, you asshole. <laughs> Even with his broken English, he understood how silly that was. <laughs> <laughs> no fruit lamps. No fruit lamps. <laughs> oh, fruit lamps. What the f Fuck. Did you get confused? Did you mix up the word fruit and apes? No, no, no. I said I was gonna say no Fruit Loops and then no Kool Aid in the White House. Oh, but I just jumped in with no Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. You know, because why have two different words? You can you make them just, all one and wreck the joke. You should just sit there and continue eating your breakfast. Yeah, yeah. No, I really should. What are you should. chiming in at seven, uh, ten after? <laughs> I don't know. Ten after the hour, may I say? You never chime in. Speaking of Fruit Loops, I'm loopy. All right. Oh, Liddy. <laughs> And you're fruity from your yogurt. Mm -hmm. What type of fruit is in that, uh, Liddy? He's got to grab it. Huh? He's got to grab the lid. Blueberry. Oh, it's blueberry? That's yeah. great, Liddy. Yeah. And uh, do you have anything funny to say about blueberries? <laughs> they weren't blue, but they went on a date. Now, now. <laughs> now, now. He has to hold the lid and calm him down. Oh, of course. Liddy gets very excited. It's really uncomfortable to God, watch. Liddy sucks. <laughs> the worst character on the show. It stinks. It really does, man. I hate Liddy. Jimmy in Ohio. Jimmy. Oh. So, you were talking about uh, someone becoming a uh, tranny in the office there. I was wondering, uh, how big do you think uh, Ben's badge would be if he had that hog turned inside out? <laughs> Uh, uh, Harrison Ford would accidentally land the Millennium Falcon in it. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Jimmy, uh, I got a question about uh, Liddy there. How's he feel about being on XM Radio now? I heard uh, G. Gordon's going to be on. Yeah, well, I kind of like being on XM. Beats AM or FM. <laughs> but, uh, oh, oh. oh, God, could that bit end, please? Oh. Let's say hi to Erin in the New York City. Dark Side of the Moon album as a white reggae band. All right. Earl recommends this. What song do you want to hear from Dark Side of the Moon done by this band? Got the great gig in the sky with the nice moaning. Do, uh, you got time. One of the biggies. Well, money, obviously, or us and them, I guess, huh? Comfortably numb? Biggies. That's not off that album, you silly goose. Well, I don't know. I get scared. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Earl was going to be here, but uh, the doorman was keeping him out. <laughs> I guess I made a mistake. I'm comfortably dumb. <laughs> oh, oh Liddy. Liddy. I fucking hate you. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, Steve. Relax. Your Jesus. shirtless body, Jimmy, in this picture <laughs> is a looks like... It's a, a I swear to you, I'm sorry. It looks like a chubby 13-year-old girl. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It looks like a little girl body. A fat little girl. It looks like the nubs are just about to just Just little start titties growing. are growing in. <laughs> You're awful. Uh, you know something? Uh, out of everything, I want that taken off the site because that's offensive. <laughs> I know. I shouldn't have to look at a child's tits like that. Instead of religious right, should be the religious wrong. <laughs> oh, oh Liddy. Liddy. You're should incorrigible. Should we... Uh, What's with the voice? Is that, that it? Picture? Is that something twined in their DNA? Or is that a put-on thing that you do as a gay person to show that you're gay? Someone said, uh, someone raised a point once. It was, to me, it's like it's it's a main, it's an impression of feminine. Is it it's like trying to be a girl? Almost like someone once said that this is a good point. The gay people don't have any real role models, like growing up. So the people you look at, and again, this was just explained to me once that the people you look at and emulate are women. Because that's who you relate to more, right. and so that's who that that like. So if you there start was, talking like it, right? Like if there were more out gay people, like sports figures or whatever, maybe over time that would become more varied. I and mean, that's just and maybe the people they hang out with all talk like that. I, I don't, don't know, get, but they all had this like really weird. Yeah, it, it's the same thing. It's all that almost like a slightly nasal thing and very weird and and what the fuck? I know. I hate a funny voice. Oh no, no, no. Hey, hey, Liddy, Liddy. All right, let's move faggot. on. Faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on here. I'm not a faggot. You can't put a dick in my lid. <laughs> <laughs> and Fight Club. Here we go. And fight Club. Okay. Hmm. You don't like Edward Norton either? Don't hate him. I'm just. I think he's uh, overrated. Overrated? Really? Oh, he did yeah. Uh, since the, he's since, really since good. The Primal Fear. I thought he was overrated. Uh, that was a great performance. I, I, I think. You didn't like him in American hmm. X? I liked it. I didn't love it. I liked oh it. Oh my didn't god! Love it. Didn't you, love it. You felt sorry one. for his character by the end there. Yeah, I That's mean, tough to pull off, I think, in any movie. I felt sorry, too, for him. He, he had such a great life and everything, you know, all that fun he was having. And no, then... no, I understand. But, <laughs> no, I understand. But to, to, that's what was crazy about that. To, 
you know, that how brutal of a character he was to be in the beginning of the movie, and yeah. then to actually feel sorry for the guy by the end of the movie, in a way. Yeah. That is... Losing That's all his good friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fun people. Had to grow his hair in. That must be a drag. Truck got scratched at a river robbery in the beginning of the movie. <laughs> Stepped on that man's teeth. God, put your teeth on the curb. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, someone out there is agreeing with Correct me. him. That's yeah. what I like about the show. There's always someone that agrees well, with you. Yeah. you put uh, that guy's mouth on the thing and he went, eh, okay, you better curb your enthusiasm. <laughs> oh, Liddy. <laughs> wow. Problem. Jim. Uh, Kenny, go ahead. I don't know if you... Hey, Anthony. Uh, Kenny's uh, the comedian around here. <laughs> Anthony, you said you, uh, you like Seinfeld because you could watch an episode and you don't have to see the previous one and you can uh-huh. laugh and laugh. Yeah. You know, you're part of a show that you have to pretty much listen to every day to really know what the hell's going on. Oh, I know, but it's not a reality show on TV, and this is casual listening. You know, you don't well, you don't have to catch every episode to I laugh. To almost every day, and I had to ask my friend, what, what the hell's Liddy? What, what the hell's Liddy? You don't even <laughs> want to know. Liddy stinks anyway. We did, we should, uh, from time to time, uh, time to time, just uh, take li- uh, questions from the listeners to yeah. explain some of the storylines. But basically, there's so much more going on with this show. You don't, you know, you still get laughs. Uh, just I, listening once, I'll, and you I'll, don't have to listen again. I'll use the Seinfeld analogy again. Uh, you don't have to see previous episodes of Seinfeld to enjoy that episode, but it is better if you had, because a lot of times they call back an, on an earlier episode. So like this, you could tune in on a day, and uh, you'll laugh, laughs. but but uh, if you're a big fan of the show, you, you'll la- laugh even more. Yeah, who are oh, these people? <laughs> oh, Oh, I got Liddy. I thought like everyone impressions. knew. That was Seinfeld, right? I, I thought everyone knew <laughs> who Liddy was. It's basically... Uh, G-Yogurt Liddy. Just a friend. It's Norton's uh, yogurt lid. It's a yogurt lid and that I Norton hate it. takes off. It's a little blue yogurt lid, and he folds it in the middle to make a little mouth. Yeah. And uh, it talks. Yeah, say something, Liddy. <laughs> oh, he's all scared Just now. chattering <laughs> his little lid teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Liddy. Liddy. <laughs> Liddy. Liddy. Wait, we got XMT. There he is. I don't know what's going on with the phone. Were you in the elevator area? No, I was going to the bathroom. I felt like oh, no. That... No. Why? Yeah. No, it's not a you guys flu? at all, man. Yeah, I've, I've had... On my days off, I got to look after my girlfriend and our two friends that came from Victoria to visit us, and they were puking, like, lying down on, like, the couch and on the bed, just barfing in bags and stuff, so... What's yeah. Victoria. Uh, Victoria, Canada? Uh, yeah, British Columbia. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where are you from up there? Uh, Victoria. Victoria? No, I live in Victoria, but I mean, I was born in uh, this place called Prince George, B.C., which, did you ever see the movie Strange Brew? Strange. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with uh, Rick Moran. That's all we know of Canada is through Strange, Strange Brew. Brew. Well, it was filmed in Prince George, B.C. It was where ah. I was born and where I kind of grew up until I was like 11 years old or something. And I watched... Oh, thank you. I'm not sure if they ever told you, but I'd watched the Star Wars trilogy like over 400 times before I was 11 years old. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah. It was just your thing. We didn't have television. We had a television. We had a, a VCR. But and we it didn't was have very cable. cool when you were a kid. I mean, I I watched that movie. I can't even tell you how many times too. As oh. a kid, I mean, sitting there, you as an opening scene, first time you ever saw yeah. it, it was the best thing ever. Yeah, I know. Of course. But I mean, I put it on like sort of as background noise. Do you know what I mean? Really? Like in the morning, just wait. You just had no TV. <laughs> Did you get the whole movie memorized? Uh, no. Word no. for word? No. I doubt it. I doubt it. I mean, when I wrote this, though, it was going from memory rather than going back and watching the films and trying to. Oh, really? Stuff out. Yeah. So there could be some inaccuracies. Oh, huge inaccuracies, yeah. and you get people telling me that I've got this wrong or that wording wrong or something wrong, and it's like, well, who cares? And they're probably know. dressed like Jedi with lightsabers in their yeah. hands when they tell oh, you yeah, this. Oh yeah, I've met a lot of those people. You've been to the conventions? Uh, well, just to perform, I've never actually been to a convention. Yeah. Outside of a scary people. Well, some, some, but a lot of these people have really normal jobs and normal lives yeah. too, right? Like they just they do normal things. Yeah. Except that this is their hobby. So True. well, you got a lot of action on the phones. I mean, they're just going crazy. Oh, great! We got a call coming in from Riskless, Montana. Well, let's do it. This is uh, Travis. 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 Hey, dude, why are they giving you such a hard time? I thought it was pretty good what you did. Oh, All right. nice, good. All right, there you go. See, that's positive. I told I'm, you. A fan of, I'm a fan of the movie. I mean, it's hard to find somebody that kind of knows everything about the movie, and everybody thinks I'm a geek, but I like the movie. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. People think go. I'm a geek too. How old were you when you started like watching the movies and stuff? How old was I? Uh, he said he uh, saw the movie 400 times before uh, he was 11, was I think. 11. First time I saw it was in Waikiki. We used to live uh, between Waikiki and uh, Prince George. So the first time I saw it was uh, near the Waikiki Banyan, if you've ever been to Waikiki. <laughs> what? What? Did you just... Ramon! 
Oh, it's this guy again. Did you just squeal off the road again, buddy? Umayo. Is this Steve? Oh, this guy. <laughs> Ramon. This guy sucks. <laughs> Dick. Why do the screeners... He, no, this guy tricked us. The screeners can't dick, find man. out that that's not uh, Travis. Put him alone. Oh. Star Wars is a faggot. <laughs> All right, we get it. Put him alone. Tell this guy... Steve. <laughs> Steve, please lose the phone number. Where do you live, man? Put yeah. him alone. <laughs> Tell this faggot that Wookiee is real. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> the guy's cracking himself up. This is awesome. All right, Steve. <laughs> Do you want my home number, fuckhead? Really? Yeah. What? You know, they're faceless people. I love it. Like message board people. They have no <laughs> face. They, <laughs> they love uh, uh, joking oh, and God, bashing, but, but they never want to confront anybody. Come down to the studio. I'll, we'll kick your ass. Yeah, why don't you come in the studio, buddy? Steve, Enough. Go what? find your boyfriend, Ramon, or whatever the hell. Why don't you come in the studio if you had balls? All right, there he goes. Jesus. Sorry about that, buddy. It's no, a daily battle on this show to deal with these assholes. Brian Clifton, what's up? Hey, this is Brian from Clifton Park. Hey, Brian. I saw him at Celebration 3. I loved him. I really did. Oh, okay. All this crap they're giving you is a bunch of bullshit. Saw I mean, the show? You were very talented. I love the films. I, You know, and it, what people do, and it's a, it's a great film, uh, and, and I can't believe that people are, are dissing him like this. It's a well, bunch of jack-offs. You're always going to get it. Keep doing what you're doing. I saw you at Celebration 3. Keep it up. Cheers, Brian. I'm punching out. You're yeah, always going to get the one or two. Uh, what they call the... Uh, the bad apples. So what? What is with Ramon? I don't get. The I don't know, Ramon. Every time this uh, Steve guy calls, it's always about Ramon. We still don't know what it means. It's uh, but he actually listens to the radio and then bothers to call in. Yeah, yeah, that's what he does. Wow. He actually listens and then calls into Bash. Is he like the like your sort of like sort of village idiot, but like sort of yeah, every, day. every day, we every day, every day, every day we gotta deal with this shit. Ramon, Ramon, who cares, Ramon? Uh, Dan in New Hampshire checking in. Let's say hi to Liddy. Liddy. Hey, hey, Hello. Liddy, what's up, Liddy? Why is everybody giving this guy a hard time? Liddy, you stink. <laughs> <laughs> Ramon, Darth Vader has AIDS. Holy shit, dude! Stop. Would you? Why do you call? Ramon, C-3PO should be molested. Man. Wash what? my balls. He's got an. He's, he's Liddy. Ramon, Liddy and Ramon, like what the hell? What? Liddy. This is Ramon, Liddy. He needs a. Ramon is going to be an awful producer. <laughs> he needs a writer, obviously. Oh you got no material, dude. Ramon, why are Ryan says hiring that lazy bag of shit? <laughs> I don't even know what he's talking about. All right. Wow. Thank you, Liddy. <laughs> God damn. So he's he like an honorary DJ, sort of like on the on the honorary the Eye in the Sky or something like that. Yeah, for some reason he's very good at getting past the screeners. Let's go to the room guys. Part. Any more uh, uh, Steve from Yellowstone calls, and uh, you guys are done. I or mean, will it? Check Jesus. One. Check when, call when you leave. Girl came in. A bunch of girls came in. They told, got completely naked. All three of them did the Wiffle Bat challenge. Yeah. Oh, wow. One named Cock Hog. <laughs> Cock Hog. <laughs> Boy, I sure wish I would have caught that. Now, now. Oh, oh Liddy. Liddy. You're back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, so what do you got there, Hog Liddy. Beast? Cock Hog. Isn't that in Long Island? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old Happy Indian birthday, name. Happy birthday, Jim. <laughs> I was, uh...